Okay, so let's take a look at the binary search. The binary search is a more advanced uh, searching algorithm that searches for whatever number that you uh, want to find. And I'll show you how to do that right now. But before that, I want to quickly explain what linear search is. So let's get like five numbers here. So two, four, three, one, and six. And let's make the target one. So we're going to want to find one. So how this works is we start at the leftmost, and then we compare each number to one to our target until we get to the um, the number. So two is not equal to one, so we go over to the next. Four is not equal to one, so we go over to the next. Three is not equal to the one, so we go over to the next. And one is equal to one, so that pretty much concludes the linear search. And this is this is rather efficient, but Say you're in a situation where you had 50 elements in an array and you needed to find a number that was, for example, in the 36th index or maybe the 48th index. Well, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to iterate through each element in the array until you get to the desired one. And if that's rather inefficient. So that's where binary search shines. And the prerequisite for binary search to actually work is to have a sorted array. So there's that. Now, with that said, let's get some numbers on the screen and let's you know explain how binary search works. So let's do 2, 4, 8, 10, 14, 20, and Let's do like 22. Okay, so how this is going to work is we're going to find the middle number of the array, like the, the centerpiece of the array. So in this case, it's going to be 10. And, oh wait, I forgot my target. <laughs> uh, let's make the target. Um, let's make it 22. Worst case scenario, 22. So we're going to take that 10 that we located that's in the middle of the array and then we're going to compare that with our target which is 22. 22 is greater than 10 so 10 and anything before 10 would not be equal to 22. So we're going to cross all that out. Now we're going to go over, we're, we're going to repeat the whole process. We're going to find the middle of the array of all the numbers that could be qualified, in this case 20. And then we compare that to 22. 22 is greater than 20, so anything, so 20 and anything below 20, in this case 20 and 14, they wouldn't be equal to 22. And now we have our, we now we only have one element left, so in this case 22 would be the answer. Okay, so now that we got that basic example down, let's do something a little more complicated, something with more numbers. So I'm going to define my target right now before I forget. Let's let's say let's do 78. Right? And I'm going to be making a list of numbers, maybe around 30 numbers. So I'm gonna fast forward and get that done. Okay, so I got my numbers here. Let me just switch the color on my pen and let's get started. So what we're gonna do, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna find the middle number of the um, array and we're just gonna target that. Next thing we're gonna do is compare our, uh, our the number with our target number. In this case, 78. 40 is less than 78, so 40 and anything before 40 would not be equal to 78. So we're gonna cross all of that out. Right now that we got that done, we're going to repeat the whole process again. So we're going to find the middle of this bunch right here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. In this case, it's going to be 64. And then we're going to compare 64 with our target, 78. 78 is greater than 64. So anything, so 64 and anything before 64 would not be equal to 78. So we cross all that out. And then we repeat the process again. 
We'll do that with 77. So 77 compared to 78, 78 is greater. So 77, anything before it, cross that out. I'm gonna find the middle again, in this case, 90. So uh, compare 90 to 78, 78 is less than 90. So 90 and 96 get crossed out. And now we have our only option, which is 78. So that's our answer. That pretty much concludes the binary search, and I'll see you in the next video.